What if a compact mini PC could handle serious work, casual gaming, and your entire home office setup, all without taking up more space than a coffee mug? That's the promise of the Ace Magic M1 mini PC, and today, we're going to find out if this little powerhouse can actually deliver. Welcome to the Mini PC Tech Channel, where we talk about all things Mini PC. I'm Mike, your host. With over 40 years in computing and a desk packed with Mini PCs, I've wandered this path from the Commodore 64 to the Mac Mini, Windows Minis and Raspberry Pi. I love helping you find the best compact tech for your setup. If you're into Mini PCs like this one, make sure you hit subscribe and tap that bell so you never miss a review. And as always, check the links below for the latest deals and more information on the Ace Magic M1. Let's kick this off with design and first impressions. Right out of the box, the M1 feels premium. It's got a sleek aluminum shell that gives off serious Mac Mini vibes. It's compact. Small enough to mount right behind your monitor with the included Visa mount. That's a huge win if you're trying to keep your desk clean and clutter free. Now, one of my favorite parts is the port selection. You've got USB-C, multiple USB 3.2 ports, HDMI 2.0, DP 2.0, and even 2.5G LAN. No dongles needed, whether you're connecting monitors, peripherals, or external drives, the M1's got you covered. Of course, good looks only get you so far. Let's talk about what's under the hood, because this is where the M1 gets serious. This thing runs on AMD's Ryzen 7 6800H, 8 cores, 16 threads, and a boost clock up to 4.7 GHz. Compared to its predecessor, the 5800H, this chip delivers around 10% more performance, not just in benchmarks, but in real-world use. And it's paired with blazing fast DDR5 memory, which is a game-changer for multitasking. The system comes with 32GB DDR5, but you can upgrade all the way to 64 gigabytes if you need even more headroom. What about gaming? After all, it's rocking Radeon 680M integrated graphics, and if you've been following AMD's RDNA 2 lineup, you know that's no joke. For esports titles like CSGO, Fortnite, and Apex Legends, you can expect smooth 1080p gameplay, often hitting 60fps or better with reasonable settings. It even handles some AAA games if you dial things down to medium. No, it's not replacing your RTX gaming rig, but for a mini PC, this is seriously impressive. Of course, none of that matters if your system freezes up or overheats, and that's why cooling is so important in these small form factors. The Ace Magic M1 has dual exhaust vents and a high-speed fan, but even at full load, this thing stays whisper quiet just 38 decibels. That's quieter than a typical library. If you're working in a small office or bedroom, you'll barely hear it. Now let's talk about expandability, because this is another area where the M1 stands out. You've got dual M.2 slots supporting up to 4 terabytes of super fast NVMe storage, plus those two so dim slots that handle up to 64 gigabytes DDR5 RAM. That's future-proofing done right, and it means you can buy the base model and upgrade as your needs grow. Now, if you're like me, you probably need multiple monitors for work. Whether I'm editing video, trading stocks, or writing scripts like this, I need screen real estate. The M1 supports triple 4K displays, thanks to HDMI, DP, and USB-C outputs. Combine that with Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and 2.5G wired LAN, and you've got connectivity for days, no compromises. So, who's the Ace Magic M1 really for? If you're a remote worker who wants a powerful desktop that fits in your backpack, this is for you. If you're a casual gamer who wants a living room PC that can handle Steam, Xbox Cloud, and emulators, this is for you. If you're building a home theater PC that can power triple 4K screens, this is for you. And if you're a tech tinkerer who loves upgrading and customizing your gear, the M1 gives you plenty to work with. So what's the final verdict? 
starting for around $400, you're getting desktop class performance in a package smaller than a router. The combination of Ryzen 7 6800H, Radeon 680M, DDR5 memory, and fast storage makes this one of the most capable mini PCs I've reviewed this year. It's not a hardcore gaming rig, but for work, content creation, and light gaming, it's an absolute win. If you want to check it out for yourself, I've got links in the description. If you have questions about this or any other mini PC, drop a comment below and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell so you never miss another mini PC review and share if you think others might like this too. Thanks for watching, this is Mike, signing off, see you in the next one.